Blinken by the here Senate, and let say. us uh, take so this uh, is why President they need to get Biden, this done. Chad. Excuse me, here's President Biden now. You know, uh, when we took office 45 days ago, I promised the American people that help was on the way. Today, I can say we've taken one more giant step forward in delivering on that promise that help was on the way. I want to thank, start off by thanking the Vice President, but I want to thank all of the senators who worked so hard to reach a compromise to do the right thing for the American people during this crisis and voted to pass the American Rescue Plan. It obviously wasn't easy. It wasn't always pretty, but it was so desperately needed, urgently needed. Also, I also need to say a few words about the Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who I spoke with many times in this and again this morning. I served in the Senate, as you all know, for many years. I've never seen anyone work as skillfully, as ably, as patiently with determination to deliver such a consequential piece of legislation that was so urgently needed as the American Rescue Plan. Chuck Schumer, Senator Chuck Schumer, when the country needed you most, you led, Chuck, and you delivered. Neither I nor the country will ever forget that. And it's not a moment too soon. I've been talking about the urgency of this need. For, many, for over a year, the American people were told they were on their own. They were seeing, uh, we've seen how hard that has been on so many Americans. As of last night, 519,064 lives lost to the virus. That many empty chairs this morning, the breakfast table, gone. More than 400 small businesses closed unnecessarily. Millions of people out of work through no fault of their own. I want to emphasize that. Through no fault of their own. Food bank lines stretching for miles. Did any of you ever think you'd see that in America? In cities all across this country? Families facing the threat of eviction. This nation has suffered too much for much too long. And everything in this package is designed to relieve the suffering and to meet the most, most urgent needs of the nation and put us in a better position to prevail. Starting with beating this virus and vaccinating the country. The resources in this plan will be used to expand and speed up manufacturing and distribution of vaccines so we can get every single American vaccinated sooner than later. I believe by we'll have enough by the end of by the middle of May to vaccinate. It's going to take longer to get in their arms, but that's how much vaccine we'll have. Because of all the funding, we'll be able to hire more vaccinators, set up more vaccination sites to get the country in a place to get back to normal. This plan will get checks out the door starting this month to the American people who so desperately need the help. Many of whom are lying in bed at night, staring at the ceiling, wondering, will I lose my job if I haven't already? Will I lose my insurance? Will I lose my home? Over 85 percent of American households will get direct payments of $1,400 per person. For a typical middle-class family of four, husband and wife working, making $100,000 a year total with three kids, they'll get $5,600. I mean, with two kids, we'll get $5,600, and it'll be on the way soon. That means the mortgage can get paid. That means the child can stay in community college. That means maintaining the health insurance you have. It's going to make a big difference in so many lives in this country. Unemployment benefits will be extended for 11 million Americans who've lost their jobs and who last night, again, were lying in bed thinking, my Lord, I'm going to lose my unemployment insurance in a week or so. It was about to expire. Schools are going to have the resources they need to open safely. States and local governments that have lost tens of thousands of essential workers will be, have the resources they need available to them to those laid-off police officers, firefighters, teachers, and nurses they can rehire. There are, these are essential personnel. Look, the American Rescue Plan lowers health care premiums, food and nutrition assistance. It's hard to believe that 24 million adults and 11 million children, as I speak,